Hey guys, has it going in Nigeria get tougher? The CJN of Nigeria, Justice Ulukayo De Ariwola, seek the termination of the judgment that sees Tunubu as the winner of the 2023 presidential election. Is God not at, not at work? <laughs> this now happened after right group drag justice. Sumani and other presidential election petition tribunal members to 70 world leaders over election judgment and they promised uh, the Nigerian CJN that they are coming for him. They are going to go, you know, they are going to go after them batch by batch. When they are done with the presidential election petition judges, then they will now come to uh, the Supreme Court judges. And don't forget that someone is their, their principal here, the CJN, is involved in everything. So it's because of this fear. is not seeking the determination of the judgment that says President Bola made Tunubu, you know, as a winner. And Nigerians who have reacted to this and asked him, <laughs> for what is this essence? Say, you people say, he won the election. Why are you not running up and down? You don't need to run up and down. Fix it. You understand? When did they tell these people, say, made and they do the right thing? They know they hear what. What does it take you to do the right thing? Do you need people to, to push you? Are you a grass cutter? You don't need people to push you to do the right thing. Just do it. It's there. Every now and then they are running to our bread. Now, spirits now build those places. When Nigerians travel to abroad, then they make sense for them. Everybody, they go according to the rules. If you they queue, you go stand for queue until you get to, to your turn. But if na Nigeria, they queue they dead and say you be one counselor, you go from the end, go break protocols because you be counselor. You understand? The law does not care who you are. That is how the law is supposed to be. But in Nigeria, does it goes like that? It doesn't play like that. The law only favors them. The law in Nigeria is just for the poor people. Go thief goat, then go then, then go jail you for 25 years. But politicians are here using Byron and paper to carry billions, millions of dollars. And they prepare their 10 generations to come. Everybody saw what happened in that election, the 2023 general election that took place on February 25th, the, the, the March election that took place on the 18th, 2023. Are we talking about the November election? And all these signs is just like getting Nigerians' minds prepared that the worst will come. It doesn't matter whether you come out to, you know, to, 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 uh, vote when they don't already make up their mind, saying that this person they go, there's nothing you can do about it. Because if you not favor them for pulling units, you go favor them for court. They will push you to go to the courts, and when they get there, they will have their way. Look at what is happening in Kano, it's so shameful. The CJN is watching all these things, and now it's running up and down. The International Society for Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law, Inter-Society Nigeria, and the Institute, the Equity Research Institute and Organization, the Chicago, the USA, the Civil Liberties Organization, the Southeast Zone and the Southeast Base Collection of Democrats and Human Rights Organizations have dragged Justice Aruna Samani. JCA and other 2023 presidential uh, electoral petition tribunal members to 70 world leaders over the judgment of the presidential election. The group said that the the call followed the failure of the justice Samani led 2023 presidential election tribunal to publicly explain who actually wrote the widely condemned judgment of September 6. 2023, demanded in, uh, in their joint statement of September 11. They also said that 
they are coming for the CJN. If you hear what they ask the 70 world leaders to do to these people, you go even pity for them. But there is no need to pity for them. There is no need to pity for them. You understand? Anybody won't do anything. You go collect water, water. Now, so it's supposed to be. The, the, the principle of life is just there. If you do good, you go take them. If you do bad, you go take them. It doesn't matter who you are. Whatever you do, it has consequences. Now, so it be. Running to see Tunubu's termination, how does he think he's going to face this? A lot is going to happen here. Because Tunubu must surely fight back. Anybody who is desperate, he can do anything. You know, you see the spirit of desperation, what it does, it will first of all strike your conscience. Then the spirit of God will leave you. You think about only yourself. It doesn't matter what will happen to anybody. Even when you know that the decision you are taking is going to affect people, it will cause problems. It doesn't matter. You are just after you, yourself. That is why there were so many uh, allegations of judge collecting money uh, being paid, you know, to deliver those ele uh, election uh, judgments and all that. It no matter. You go collect money because you feel that that is your own benefit. Are you even thinking about people this thing is affecting? More than 200 million Nigerians, they are suffering today because of small thing when you go just put right. No, you did not do it. Well, let's see how this goes. The, the drama is getting more interesting. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.